Hi, it's Simon from SDL Photography here. Today we're just going to quickly have a look at adjusting contrast in Lightroom. So let's just jump into the photo that we're going to have a look at today, which is from the Grand Canyon. So let's just have a look at that. Okay, so what we're going to do in order to develop um, and adjust the contrast, we're just going to jump over to the Develop module and you'll see the contrast slider is over here. Now what contrast does is it takes um, from the midpoint from 50% and anything dark pushes it darker and anything light pushes it lighter. So if we adjust the contrast slider we move it up you'll see the darks are getting darker and the lights are getting lighter and you can create a greater sense of drama within the photo. Um, you can go the opposite and you can actually get the um, darks to come together towards the midpoint and the whites to come together towards the midpoint and give it that uh, kind of little bit of a washed out kind of feel to it. So you can adjust the contrast to give you a different feel and different look. So having a look at that. So I've got another um, image just here which we'll just jump over to which will just show you what's happening. So this is a graduation of 100% color down to 0% color um, and some patterns and just a, a spectrum here. Now, and you can see up here, you can see all of these um, individual sections in the histogram here. Watch what happens when we adjust the contrast. So if we move the contrast up, you'll see the histogram spreads out, but what you'll see as you adjust it is you see that you get loss of detail in the dark sections of your color. So you start getting um, your colors to be blown out. They can't get any more. It's the values that we're at the extreme. So that's what's actually happening. You're actually taking these tones here and moving them to make them darker. So, and these ones you're moving them to get them lighter. So if we watch in the middle, down through here stays pretty much the same. It's these values and these values that are adjusted. So contrast works at adjusting um, the dark tones and the light tones at the same time. So if we come back over to our image here and we go, well, we're going to adjust our contrast, we can use the contrast slider here. And, and doing it with not really huge steps, but little is much better. There's another way of doing it that gives you a lot more control, and that's in your tone curve here. So you'll see this section here. Sometimes it's closed, or, and you just need to open it up, tone curve. You can have um, a a curve that looks like this, so it's a straight line. So this is your, your histogram, you can see just faintly in the background. And this cor this point corresponds to the lightest uh, values here to the darkest values. And this is the, the value range, so this is the brightest part and this is the darkest part. So as you move something, you can actually make the image go brighter, washed out, Okay, or you can make it, you can move it across, so we're making the black point darker. So that's just, you can adjust it in a crazy different ways. Now, you can create a, um, a contrast curve, which is generally bringing up the highlights and decreasing the shadows, so making the shadows darker. Now, you, Lightroom has some presets here, so with medium contrast, you can click on that and adjust the tone curve here so it gives a little bit of lightness there and a little bit of darkness in here. And you'll see it's increased the contrast greatly there or you can click it into strong contrast and it's brought it up even, even more. And so it's just pushed those curves and you can see there's a couple of little points there that allow you to organize that. Now you can right click that, flatten the curve outcome here. Over in this section, so this is uh, working on the tone curve in this way. Over here is this little bit and you can come into another version of this where you, you're actually just working on these highlights and um, lights and darks and shadows. So you can actually pick a point and move it up 
pick a point and move it down and get similar results and you're adjusting the highlights regions and the sections where they are let's just reset all those I like coming into this one because you can set points pretty easily so you can actually go and what a standard um, contrast adjustment would be is that you'd set a point for your mid-tone so you just click that and then you just pick your point in the highlights move it up so you can you can watch it. the value of this is that you're actually adjusting the highlights and the shadows you're pushing those at separate amounts whereas the contrast slider they move equally out so you can't get as much uh, accuracy so you might have a brighter image and you want to just protect the highlight slightly you won't push it as hard as as moving towards the dark so we can actually go let's increase the darks even more and you can use all of these you can put as many points in there as you like so you can adjust it around how you want you right click you can flatten out the curve another handy little thing is this point here this is adjustment point if you click on it bring it into your image you can actually and as you move it across you can see it moving around on the the tone curve at the value of where it is so you could actually go <clears throat> I want to actually take this section just here and I want to actually do an adjustment with it and so you can actually grab that point and you can make it darker and you can see it's just adjusted there now you can remove this so you can click on that delete the, if you right click just over the point you can delete control points you can flatten the curve generally with a contrast curve looks like an, an S shape coming in there you need to kind of lock your midpoint so you can go where, where whereabouts <coughs> in the image is particularly my midpoint the value range that I want to keep in that um, kind of that tonal range so it's, it's roughly around here so if we went and we clicked on that and go, we're going to keep that so we're actually going to make it um, our midpoint down not perfectly in the middle and now we can come into here and we can adjust the, the depth of the color there and we're going to come up to here and we're going to increase this and you can do you know all sorts of things here so we're just pushing those around I'm just looking at the landscape it's pushed way too hard on the person so we can actually just bring all those back and you can just move them all around so they're very very powerful the tone curve so and you can actually move that into whichever point you want so if you want to put it back in the middle or you want to come back up here push it up a little bit higher so it's working more into here so you can actually do a lot of adjustments with a tone curve it's incredibly powerful so we'll turn it off that's what it was before turn it back on and it's an incredibly powerful little tool so that's two ways of adjusting the contrast and as we adjust the contrast increase our contrast we tend to increase the drama within the image so you're getting uh, deeper darker tones and brighter whites we just need to be careful because if you push the contrast too much you end up losing detail within the the highlights and within the shadows so it's a it's a balance between giving the amount of drama that you want in the photo from the contrast but not losing the detail at the same time this has been uh, simon for sdl photography i hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial on adjusting contrast in lightroom